Welcome to the MSU Radiology Teaching Cases System. This site contains over 10,000 teaching cases submitted by radiology residents and MSU radiologists. This video will cover the ins and outs of submitting cases to the system via email. For a video on how to view cases and for other resources, visit education.rad.msu.edu slash hss. This is also where you will download the template needed for submitting cases, which we will cover momentarily. You will email your cases to rad.teachingcases at msu.edu. You can also email that same address with any questions or comments, or give us a call at 517-884-3202. Once your cases have been approved, they will be viewable at teachingcases.rad.msu.edu. We will explain how to look up your own cases at the end of this video. First, let's discuss what makes a good teaching case. The MSU radiologist reviewing your case will look for proper diagnosis, quality images obtained from your clinical setting, not from online resources, published works, etc. Images that support all findings, adequate number of views to delineate the diagnosis, thorough discussion, and peer-reviewed references such as PubMed, not StatDX, Radiopedia, etc. Endorsement from a specialized faculty member at your institution and or from an MSU radiologist at the selection stage is recommended. It is preferred that you collect and submit your cases throughout each year versus in large batches. We will provide timely feedback as you submit your cases. Sending them in large batches tends to result in multiple rejections, a lot of back and forth, and time wasted on both sides. Teaching cases do not necessarily need to be bizarre or unusual. Good examples of normal findings or common pathologies are also helpful. Prior to being reviewed by an MSU radiologist, each case you submit will go through a pre-screening process where we will look for the following. A completed Word template. To obtain the Word template, Using any browser, go to education.rad.msu.edu slash hss. Here you will find links to enter the teaching cases system, the viewing teaching cases video, as well as a link to the complete user guide. These three resources are for viewing purposes only. You will not need them for submitting cases. All you will need for submitting cases is the teaching cases template. Click this link to download the Microsoft Word template. Once you have downloaded and opened the Word template, it's pretty self-explanatory. Each field provides additional details about what is expected. To improve the overall quality of the cases in the database, please be as thorough as possible. Ultimately, the cases you submit will be accessible by anyone on the globe. All images and content become copyrighted property of Michigan State University, but your name will be listed as one of the authors on each of your cases. Not only are they a reflection of MSU, they are a reflection of you. For both the anatomy and pathology sections, select one most relevant checkbox. For the modalities present section, you may select all that apply. You will submit one Word document for each of your required teaching cases, along with accompanying images. More on those later. Do not insert or paste images into your Word documents. Save each case as a separate Word file with the following format. Your first name, underscore, your last name, underscore, case title. For example, Joe, underscore, Smith, underscore subdural hematoma. Save copies of all files for your personal records. Your completed Word template will be run through a document check to verify that it was written in your own words. Your write-up should be based on your review of the literature, quality texts, and peer-reviewed resources. 
a moment on plagiarism and copyright infringement. As medical professionals, you know that plagiarism and copyright infringement is unethical. When received, each individual case is run through a thorough pre-screening process, which includes careful review of both images and text. One of the most important things we look for is plagiarism and copyright infringement. Images should be obtained from the clinical setting in which you are working and should never be obtained from existing literature or resources. Write-ups should be in your own words and based on your review of the literature, quality texts, and peer-reviewed resources. Use quotation marks for all verbatim text from anyone other than yourself. Listing yourself as a reference is unacceptable, as your text needs to be enhanced with other sources. All resources must be credited in the reference section. If text or images are discovered without proper referencing, your case will be automatically rejected. Your write-up should include peer-reviewed references, such as PubMed, not StatDX, Radiopedia, etc. Your Word document and your images must not contain patient health information, patient privacy. Do not include protected health information, or PHI, such as patient name, date of birth, medical record number, etc., in your text or on any images. However, providing a patient's gender and age in their history is permissible. Emailing PHI, including on images, is a breach of HIPAA. Cases received containing PHI will be automatically rejected. Once you feel confident your case will meet the pre-screening requirements, using any email account, start a new email to rad.teachingcases at msu.edu. Make the subject line the same as the name of your Word file. Attach the Word file to the email along with any images from PACS, typically JPEGs or PNG files. Image files should be named with the following format, case title, underscore, image number. The number indicates the order you would like the images to appear in the system. We encourage you to submit images with annotations such as arrows or circles. When doing this, simply attach two copies of the same image the first without annotations, adding an A at the end of the file name, the second with annotations, adding a B. Do not take photos of your monitor and send images from your phone. Once received, your case will be reviewed. Individuals submitting cases that do not meet the pre-screening requirements will be notified via email. If this happens, please make any necessary corrections or submit an alternative case. If your case does meet pre-screening requirements, it will be uploaded into the system and forwarded to an MSU radiologist for final review. The MSU radiologist may request additional changes or even reject the case, at which point you would be notified. If the case is considered satisfactory, the radiologist will certify it, credit will be granted, and the case will become public to all users. Want to view your own cases? Once they're certified, they can be found at teachingcases.rad.msu.edu. MSU employees and students can use their MSU NetID to log in. All others will need to create a new account. Once you're logged in, use the Advanced Search tool. In the Authored By field, type your name and click Search. If this does not produce results, try searching again, but without allowing the system to autofill your name. If you have any difficulty, feel free to contact us. You can reach us by emailing rad.teachingcases at msu.edu or by calling 517-884-3202. We are here to assist and also welcome your feedback. We will do everything we can within the constraints of the software to make the submitting process as painless as possible. Thanks for contributing.